Tammy. Hi, Fleming. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. That that last conversation experiment. You, uh, your sound went out. Or you suddenly were dis unsynchronized, but now it works fine. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun to, uh, yeah, it was really fun. So thank you for playing really well along with it. <laughs> Did you actually pair me up with the person from the future? No, I I left sort of a possibility. Like I told her that she had invented a time machine and that she sort of shouldn't talk about that. And I told you that you were from the future and that that was a bit of a secret. I, that's all. So, uh, so she sort of figured out that you must be from the future because of her time machine. So I, I didn't tell her that. So <laughs> but that's what's really cool, that these things sort of form by themselves. Yes, and, and what information and what order? That's also really interesting. Yeah, so I, I like, I think it's really cool where there's only, it's sort of sketchy, but somehow it connects together. Hi, Harry. Hi. Am I interrupting? Is no, this... we're talking about our our mystery experiment the other day, <laughs> Mr. Archaeologist. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, like Tammy asked about had had I set up Heidi and her for like yeah. I told Heidi that she was uh, an inventor of a time machine and that was kind of a secret. And I had told Tammy that she was from the future, and that was kind of a secret, but that was pretty much all. So otherwise, uh, Heidi took responsibility for having invented Tammy's time machine. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jess. Hi. Hey, Jess Wonder. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jess Wonder. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Looking very good. Thanks. Do Harry and I look good too? Yeah, how do I look? Uh, your males. <laughs> that was not the question. That wasn't the question. <laughs> how males look good? <laughs> you look very good actually. Oh, that's much better, yeah. I'll get my hoodie too if you want. Yeah. I can make the turban too if I can make turban. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're kind of cool like jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hear that it's going to be a very special evening, so I thought I'd better drop in and have a listen. School started 4th of September in the UK. So this month is settling in with the classes and new timetables and things. Otherwise, everything is good. Hello, Heine. Oh, Heiner's in a place. <laughs> Bringing a lot of people. Yeah. Yes, it's a party. <laughs> Okay, I, I did in mute him. Place. Yeah, he's in a dark place. Okay. Ooh, 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 infernal even. We're in a washing machine. It's like we're going through the portal of next. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Heiner would be on that. <laughs> the vortex. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Multimodal Heiner in the vortex. Yes. The multiverse. Hi, Gershwin. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hello, Gershwin. How are you? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Colin. Hi, Colin. Hi, Colin. Where are you, Heiner? We have to unmute him. We need to unmute you, Heiner. Yeah. Heiner, what's in C? Are 
Are you in a party, Heiner? An underground rave. No, no. I'm in the street. And in front of me is a restaurant called Weltlaterne, where we do since 20 years open space. And now a, a lady from China invited me to make a general thinkers gathering here in Berlin. And so we are bringing the Berlin change days, the general thinkers, and the open space people together. And I just escaped, but I have eaten in the Greek restaurant. So I can now have my beer. But I want to listen because the topic uh, Tammy was announcing sounded so interesting. And I have a problem. I have to somehow borrow somewhere some headset. It is very hard to listen to you. Okay, well, reach out to the crowd, Heiner. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can find a, uh, yeah, you find what you need. A general thinking headset. So I'd love to start by doing a bit of a check-in um, for with everyone. And today I'd like to take an opportunity to share what what I've learned and to really reflect on um, my learnings in this space and also for myself in my own journey and to share some of the directions that I want to go in. And <clears throat> but I'd love to hear to if we can just do a short share about what we've been learning um, either together or in conversations online. Fleming spent a lot of time, a little bit of time here, but Fleming's also been doing a lot of learning in the conversation space. So I would invite anyone to begin sharing. I'll start since you mentioned me. I'll put my, no, I'm on this one here. Uh, the, <laughs> Well, I'm here to explore conversations. I'd like conversations to work better, to, to sort of be able to get to the interesting points or to get to what's alive faster. It's not about speed, but it's about being present with what really is there. So in, in, the, ex, in the conversational experiments, we explore just different ways of doing it. I keep throwing different sort of games or experiments at it just to explore different angles and to find that we're still having, in some sense, the same conversation, which is wonderful. We're still connecting no matter what the experiment is, but it's also to explore the boundaries to find out what works, what doesn't work, how can we get to what needs to emerge better, faster, uh, waste less time doing other things than what really is is hot in the middle of of us and i don 't have the answer yet but it's it certainly is is uh, is emerging gradually i don 't know if it will end up being well this is what you 're supposed to do maybe it 's just that us exploring it together that creates more of a network and more connections between us or more of a built-in sense of what, what needs to happen. But I'm very happy with that. And I don't show up here very often, but I consider it sort of, uh, in some sense, the same, the same kind of thing where we are exploring and trying to make some things happen. Anyway, that's about enough for now. Okay, maybe I'll chime in because I got here thanks to the conversational experiments with Fleming and that was because also my one of my main themes is what is a good conversation? If we need to come together and work together, how can we find each other and understand each other? And uh, I like the experiments and uh, Fleming is doing it rather differently than I could have ever thought of. And it's very uh, interesting, but also I want effectuation of because... Uh, we, we need to learn not only to talk together, but also to work together. So the global collaboration group was a uh, very yeah, obvious next step to join that, not really knowing what it was and what it's about. And I don't really see myself as somebody having any solutions there, more joining the exploration. 
So that's how I am at this point. And it didn't bring me what I thought it would bring beforehand, but it brought me very different things, like that my journey went not so much outwards towards technologies, tools, and methods to have conversations and a collaboration just more inward. Who am I and how am I present in a conversation, in a collaboration? How do I open up or stay closed and all that? So it's a, it became, to my surprise, far, far more an inner journey than an outward journey with amazing results as well, but that's another story. So that's my chicken. If I jump in, I would say it is the A of attention. Let me focus me on. It is not only awareness or my ability, availability, attitude, three A's I always mention, but how our attention is dispersed. I'm a multitasking person and <laughs> tell me had hard time. She even really was roaring at me when I always spoke one red herring after the other and besides I was writing something or was elsewhere. I think this most precious uh, attention is what I got our, out of our conversations here and also that we are concerned and deep and compassionate if I can say so. Because I feel there are very little bullshitters around here. There are still a lot of talkers around, but I think we can work on that. Over. Tess Winter, care to Okay, um, I really don't know where we are currently. I'm still very much looking at our development from the Stone Age to the present age. Heine has given us a very good breakdown on that. And as a global society, can we collaborate globally? I don't know, because the Western world is much, much more advanced than any of the other countries, um, include the, the Russians into that and most of uh, Eastern Europe as well. Um, I, I also have social links with the Far East and I can't see it. I can't see the Africans coming up either although they're trying very hard. I went to the Freshers uh, year um, to, this morning to help out uh, at the university. It was empowering, electric, all those youngsters coming in with all that enthusiasm. But there was very little in there. I was thinking it would be another 10, 15 years before you can have a decent conversation with them and at the same time just looking at their faces and, and, and the way that they were reacting to information coming in I don't know who said this but Fleming uh, no he's probably Heiner and they're all sort of kind of afraid of, of, of even talking in case they get found out in, what is it that they don't know and we're all still in that boat to a large extent. And we'll all keep trying. And I think that's about the only thing we can do is keep trying and keep trying to move forward. Um, the social media, the internet, is probably the greatest advent ever in the history of mankind. And this is bringing the uh, levels of conversation and honesty and forthright exchange of views to the fore. Let's keep at it. Thank you. Mm. 
Go child, call in. Um, I'm a little bit affected by what happened in the hearing for the Supreme Court in the US. Um, that makes me sad and mad. <laughs> and this is not how collaboration works. So if you want to destroy the other party that has not the same opinions as you do, not the same interests, um, if we go further, we went through that already with better weapons. So I'm a little bit low, so it's... Um, yeah, Trad, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, I haven't been watching. Can you just give a short Coles notes for context? There is a nominee for the, for the Supreme Court in the U.S. And uh, that was partisan already <laughs> because they were afraid that he might uh, abolish the abortion rights and things like that. So he is the, the counting, the, the deciding vote. So they have four conservative, four more progressive is not the right word, but something like that. And, and he might be the deciding word and overthrow old president and some others, gun laws, whatever. So he is so conservative. <laughs> you couldn't, I mean, and he's, he was one of the, the ones who, who was really aggressively um, um, investigating uh, Clinton. And now he is accused of um, attempted rape when he was 17. And there are, she came out and, and out, so there are four all together. And um the judiciary committee the, the, the republicans of them have been in in another hearing 27 years ago where they just dismissed it uh yeah and so um they had a hearing today of that accuser and it was very touching, which she, she didn't want to come forward. But they only took her and they didn't take any, any witnesses. And it was like, he, he said, she said, and he came in aggressive as can and say it's all partisan. I mean, if you want to be judge in the highest court in the land, uh, to be that partisan from the beginning. And, and so that was really, and, and he dismissed everything. And so they decided by party line. And Sorry, is, is, he, is he confirmed? Is he now confirmed? Is that the not yet? But the, he, he's through the Judiciary Committee. And tomorrow they want to vote in the whole Senate, which is. 52 to 48 and just this the way they treated her the way they dismissed it the way they didn't want to have a, a investigation the FBI and so it was like she didn't want to to go there but um, yeah, so and to get his aggressiveness and I mean he he is scattered sure I mean he's he's that he's angry I can understand but 
So I didn't want to go too deep in, but you asked. So that's that's the context. And women are really few, and many men as well. But um, this is completely only, only person. Thank you. And Especially from my and it's a terrible story to tell. It's a terrible story to live through um, for all of us. So thank you for bringing that, Gertrude. Um, is yeah. there any and that, that was during the last, I mean, this is one of the reasons we talked about that on, on Tuesday. Yeah, so that's, having said that, um, collaboration, bad example <laughs> of this <laughs> in this case. Um, I'm a little bit torn apart because um, I have contributed to the wiki, to the Reinventing Organizations wiki. We have really within one month, we took the book, put it into a wiki, edited, wrote it, edited, and proofread it with all the technical details and and so i know it works and um anna has read the parts we wrote about it so there are so many things i could contribute it but on the other side i don't want to like there's so many others out there um that I didn't, <laughs> and, and many things we wrote in the book is, are not ours, we just took them. And so I don't know the right portions, the right mixture of being here and going with the flow and um, seeing what others contribute. And sometimes I have that, that feeling as if I have an idea, <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> and, and then I don't, or sometimes I do, but very hesitantly. So it's not that I have the answers, but I have some proven things that, that we can, could use and, and not I, we, <laughs> so. Yeah, and I don't know how big scalable all that is, but uh, yeah. So I'm kind of, I don't, I don't know exactly what my contribution is. On the practical, I mean, on the, as we did, yes, but on this hands-on practical outcome thing. Yeah, so. That's Colin? Maybe. One more thing, my daughter just landed in Bali just some hours ago. And then through the news came that the island next to has a big earthquake and there is a tsunami on another island. It was like, oh! But she's, she's okay and they didn't get anything but uh, the, from this part of the world it looks very close <laughs> <coughs> sorry so I'm relieved as well hello can you hear mm -hmm. okay yes okay yeah um I've been here at GCC about a month and I definitely came in at a time when people are trying to get their stuff together. 
Um, so a lot of moving parts, people, uh, and, and me learning uh, the different initiatives that people have. Everybody seems to have their thing. Uh, we're learning about Gertrude's today. Uh, again, uh, sounds very interesting as well. So what I do is I, I try to do a little map of, of what it is to try, is, is that's what I naturally do for myself, and I'm trying to share those. Um, and they end up being uh, fairly useful as maybe um, a type of infographic, um, but they're, they're also alive, that they can have links and, and go places, but they're not meant to take the place of something that's organized like a wiki, or it's more of a, a very high, you know, 30,000 foot view of two or three different wikis, and I'm doing this over here, and here's, it's just a kind of a note-taking tool. Um, and to use that in a community version was uh, a challenge that I came across. Um, as well, it's difficult to actually use the tool. So uh, the end goal is to have a program. Um, so I'm learning a lot about um, community conversations here as well. Very interesting to hear the, about the experiments that Fleming is talking about. That sounds very close to what I'm interested in. And as far as... Um, Contributing to what Hayner is doing, um, he might have already checked in, um, but it would be nice if I could contribute to what Hayner is doing. He asked uh, Glenn and I to write up a little uh, piece, so mm -hmm. I did that. I don't, I don't know if it's to be used. It has to do with um, these kinds of uh, impedance mismatches in conversations. Uh, it might not have anything really to do with what, what he's doing at all, but any feedback I can get is great. And if I can just keep my comments in the right channel, everybody can uh, stay effective. I have to warn you that I guess I um, sometimes comp made, made some comments out of the, the wrong channel and people got out of context and I and, uh, started talking about the, uh, the, the rape topic with uh, somebody who was asking a question totally unrelated and got, <laughs> got sideswiped. And with the, lang with the language difficulty, you know, I had to, I had to call out the FBI and we spent the morning straightening that out, and I hope that it uh, wasn't any time wasted for anybody. It's a silly, silly, again, impedance mismatch, and part of the reason why I'm, why I'm here. So I'm learning to own it and deal with it, and I, I hope I'm not causing any uh, hard feelings in any way with that. Um, there's lots of other stuff going on, but I think today's about Tammy's thing. So I'm very interested to hear. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'd love for us to just take a moment of silence to, to give myself an opportunity to center into what I'm bringing. And um, I would invite you all to experience your own center. And we'll just take two minutes to do that. Welcome, Alex. We're just taking another minute of uh, meditation and centering.
Okay, perfect. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> so I wanted to take an opportunity uh, in this Friday experiment to do a bit of an experiment for myself of really showing up as who I am and share some of the reflections that I have over what I've been learning in this space and also touch on, yeah, what directions, uh, where am I going? And I, one of the things that I've had reflected back from people is that I, I speak from the we. And truly this journey for me, not only the GCC, but, but over these last few years has been from me to we and back again. And uh, the challenge for me is that the, the, what I really want to bring and experience is working with other people, <clears throat> specifically towards uh, systems change from the inner and the outer. And I'm, I'm, I'm deeply motivated to figure out how to do that. And it's not, if it was easy, it'd be done for one thing. Um, and, uh, and there's been a lot of inner work that I've needed to do to be able to, to really stand in my power. So today is an experiment of me standing in my power and, uh, and what I, in my reflections, um, uh, I'm, I want to help to create a sovereign, accountable commons. So I'd like, uh, I'd like to be able to be in a world that is completely different from the world we're currently in. And I want to experience sovereignty myself. And the systems that we work in don't really support that. And so there's, uh, there's this need for me to work with how the world is and with others to be able to meet that, that goal. And so um, this sovereignty is, I think, at the center and then being accountable to each other and to the, what is between us as a commons is a, a whole new uh, world that needs to be nourished, designed, integrated. Um, and, and for me, I come at it very personally. Um, and <clears throat> some of what I've learned, what, part, part of what I've come in here knowing is that we, we can do this. We can do something amazing together and that we need the others. We need each other. And to do that, we need to know about each other. But before that happens, we need to know ourselves. So I need to know myself. And uh, part of my challenge in this space is that I've been holding space and creating space and to hold space and also fully bring myself has been a trick. And, and has made it muddy for others to be able to see my demonstration of what I want to do because there has, I haven't, I haven't had the capacity to do both at the same time. So my, my learning is to, uh, to share what it is that I have been doing that's kind of unseen, the technical stuff around recording the meetings and where to share them and those things so that other people can be doing some of those things. And, that, and so that I can focus more on what I really want to do, which is have conversations about people and what they're doing so that there can, we can have these 
little information packets, podcasts, where I'm not an interviewer. I'm a co-participant with that person. That's what's different. That's what's different about what I want to do and be is that I want to bring myself fully with my connections, my ideas, and work with that person. A journalist is just merely reporting. Uh, I don't want to be a journalist. I want to be a creative participator and help in the way, the ways that I can, which are, there's a whole uh, array of tools from listening, um, listening to understand and asking questions and really being curious and seeing where that person's ideas meets with mine and maybe where I know someone that might be able to help them progress. That might be another conversation that's part of a living, a living exploration of, of us seeing ourselves of, of a, a process of discovery together. So, if, if, if I can build on that for a second, it's like there's this idea that I've talked about is we the movie. So here I am, Tammy Lee Meyer, showing up with my friends and my colleagues and uh, bringing my skills. So I love being a part of conversations and hosting and, and uh, I have skills to share around how to record it and and i'm really excited to work with people about the forms and frameworks that we use so that we're actually really collaborating in what gets expressed because i feel like there's an incredible magic that can happen when we bring our collective intelligence together and have spaces frameworks and formats to be able to have anybody pick those up so we can use these different ways of being in conversation to uh, spread means, to spread um, the, the um, demonstration of collaboration. And it's all transparent so we can see where, I can see where I um, could have done better or what really worked. And, and I think what's most powerful is being present to what the, what the questions are so that, so that those questions can guide where we're going. And that's where the emergence is for me, is when we can be when we can be authentic with our questions and go on a journey together where we're, we're actually co-guiding. And to put my finger on that, that's been a big part of the challenge because it's not fully formed. It's not coming in, here we are, we got this, fill out this form, make these check marks and we're good. It, it's, I think it's incredibly important that people, um, have a staged way of buying into a conversation so that they're really bringing themselves. And another reflection that I think is really good for us, for, for me to bring in this way, is that this itself right now is a collaboration. And we're pressing record, so there's a shared artifact that is a representation of a collaboration. And how do we deal with those things? How do we, how do we um, manage permissions around who gets to see it, for example? How do, we, how do we understand the value that each person is bringing? Because it's of incredible value to have all of your attention right now. And that is, uh, that, that, that is part of what needs, I think, to be seen and articulated and made more clear and is an opportunity to be able to 
see the power of, of collaboration and the little rules or ways that we can, we can understand what an emergent conversation as a collaboration can be. Um, so, so what I'm, what I'm really wanting to invest myself in now is in more specifically convened conversations where there's a purpose, where there's specific people that are being invited because of what they bring so that there's some kind of meta thought that's gone into who should be in the room and that and that that is a part of the process so that it's really meaningful when the people are actually in the room and people can land together in that purpose and tweak if needed but that uh, that the collaboration starts with the intention and the convening and there's little parts of that process where people can intervene with what they want to bring so that at each stage there is this scaffolding of what collaboration is. And so I, I wanted to open this, this dialogue this comp I, I wanted to share some of my learnings and uh and i'd love to to invite <clears throat> invite you guys to ask some questions um and to to uh if if you can ask some questions about my own journey so that i can continue to unpack and then uh at the at you know as we progress, I'd love to hear about others and what they're learning as well. Um, but I would open it to the floor. What do I need? Oh. Um, I need other willing participants that want to get some specific work done uh, that would like to work together to form and frame those conversations. And I'd like to participate. So yeah, I would welcome any reflections or questions. So since since I've known you, you've always been been quite tuned into or focused on on media, on on, on conversations, and on sharing it and having a a deliberate manner of doing that. Like we're we're meeting, we're recording it, it's being shared, which I very much appreciate how you've, you've kept that, of being very conscious of that we are creating something, we are meeting together, we're, and we're, we're sharing it, and that that's in itself is useful. So it sounds to me like you have also evolved that, or you're, or you're trying to be more specific in terms of the outcome, like being not just you being an excellent interviewer which you are uh, and then sharing it but that deliberately focusing on that there's more of a uh, we need an outcome like or we are trying to put specific people together um, I'm not sure what my question is but it, it just sort of confirmed for me you're sort of moving towards a more a more targeted art outcome and taking a more active part is what I hear you saying that you don't just want to be the witness of here's an interesting person and now we put it on YouTube, but, but like taking that somewhere, like being a more actively involved in that, that actually becomes, is a collaboration, make, doing that more consciously and maybe more, more deliberately creating a certain outcome. Is, is, is that about right? Definitely. Um, And underneath there, for me, is my own purpose. I want to be with others that have a shared purpose where I can see that what I have to offer, whether it's my thinking or whether it's connections or whether it's to 
for me to discover them, to discover another piece of this gorgeous puzzle that what's actually underneath this all for me is that there's a, <clears throat> there's a happening, there's an awakening. There's so many of us all around the planet that are waking up and bringing our gifts that I see one of the big needs is that that be seen. And part of the reason why I've chosen this conversation process to explore that is because that's what I need. I need to be able to share this, this uh, really deep um, identity of myself as someone who is awakening in this completely transformative time of both consciousness and living systems and that I have a role. And so I can take any role that I want and choosing that role, I think is where, where I I'm, I'm getting so much more clear. And that role is to find ways to be able to show this tapestry, some of which I sense and, and have ideas about myself that I want to share, and some of which I sense that are things that I can't, haven't yet seen yet because someone else has been working on that part. But underneath that is this resonant field and what I'm experiencing is this kind of checking back against this resonant field. And that's kind of this sensing into this greater vision that includes all of us and that I have my specific part of. And part of that is to articulate the vision, which has been my <laughs> most challenging part. Uh, and yeah. Hmm. I I just want to say that I I resonate with like I have sort of a similar thing in having spent a lot of effort in sort of holding space for others or for other people and staying relatively sort of neutral in that. So I I I can see sort of the 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 desire to be more directly involved where it's not just you hold space for whatever i mean uh i and and you can can probably it can feel like well whatever you want to say it's fine but uh, i actually personally feel quite a bit in a hurry uh, there, i mean there are things i want to do i want to happen i want to move so if I am very patiently being present for something, it doesn't mean that I'm just uh, want to hang out and do nothing forever. I, I want to get to the meat of the matter more quickly. So I can, I can sort of resonate with that urge to be more directly involved and bring more of oneself into the process. I have, I feel I have a similar sort of, I don't always bring as much of myself into the spaces I create as maybe, uh, I don't know if I would like to, but if, as maybe I should, or maybe it would be better to show up more, not just give a space for others to show up. So I'm, I'm, I feel some of that with you there. It's funny <laughs> that you say that because I'm, I'm feeling pretty much similar. I know, sorry. I... Fleming, I... can you hear me? I have a new headset. Can you hear me? It's a great headset. Okay. Um, Fleming, I fully resonate. This impatient is with me and it makes me explode because there's so much pressure on the table on so many levels in so many sectors. So it is really like a meditation exercise to be with you a half an hour or one hour. I think this challenge to go beyond the me and the we to the others and have this compassion 
to listen in, even when they are in a totally different cultures. And uh, some people speak about rule set and mindset reset. That this exercise we also played last Sunday is to look into many on one and, and find other ways of representation and thinking because some people are blind or some people have a totally different way to express or another language. Uh, so it's another si sign set. So to really bridge and not harmonize, but make compatible and comparable. So we can guess faintly what the other might be meaning. So this is resonating with uh, Tammy, actually what is going on. How do I express myself when I'm totally different from Tammy? Tammy when I just look on, on other positionalities or on other frames, how can we express? We liked, we tried last Sunday as a rehearsal, Colin and, uh, and Harry were there. And we were even nearly 10 or 12 people. So it was actually a very exciting thing to really go beyond the visualization, coming to the original intent, like telling stories. So tell me, not just telling what, what your urge is, but which milestones or touchstones in your life made you be what you are now what you are now and how you are learning. So actually this was our learning journey uh, last Sunday. And I think we are uh, continuing in 48 hours. And I, I, I muscled in now because my ACDC is running out and they're waiting there at the beer table. But anyway, I'm so excited to be here and I try to listen in a little bit further, even when I put the video off. I, I have sort of some in-between comment. I don't know if you feel an urge to answer that, Tammy, but otherwise, since I was in, in Heiner's meeting Sunday, which both there were things I very much liked, but also it mostly rubbed me the wrong way as uh, it's as feeling a little bit painful to be part of. I, I learned some very valuable insights about, about Heiner, but I was also missing a presence like you, for example, Tammy. Like very often there's a very valuable part of somebody facilitating, having a sense of that things sort of flow in the right direction. And that might sometimes be an invisible function uh, most of us don't do it very well. You do it very well, Tammy. Well, I think I probably do it very well too, but I'm just saying not everybody does it. Uh, being, having a sense of how to, how is this going? Do I need to sort of steer it a little bit? It doesn't mean dominate it, but maybe make sure that we sort of get to a place that works for the group. And I didn't feel that happening in Heiner's meeting where it was a little bit sort of out of control, where different people sort of brought up their favorite topics and they sort of went off in many different directions. And the person had something that was important, the climate and the ocean currents, and it was all very important, but it didn't really, it didn't support really Heiner's message. It didn't really help Heiner express himself better. It didn't, even though it all fit in somewhere in Heiner's big, uh, scheme of everything, it didn't really, it wasn't really assisting Heiner, and there was nothing, no force that did that. And the format was sort of a little bit like we could ask questions, but I didn't have a question. I just wanted to like uh, sort of intervene, kind of thing. So that's uh, there. I felt it didn't work so well. Um, yeah, Excuse yeah, me, I, I have to jump in. You see, it was a rehearsal. We had a very interesting plan. Um, Doug had a story to tell how he sees me and interpreting me. 
And then Harry, I think Harry is here, was uh, to also show his scribbles and present them. And then I tell three stories. What happened? Doug was flat. So we were suddenly without moderator. And I was desperate. I was sweating. I, I tried when I didn't want to show slides to at least show some slides to give an idea on the essential touchstones. Anyway, your feeling was uh, very well received. And I promise to only tell stories without slides. <laughs> you you did Sunday. perfectly fine, Heiner. And I do, I do want to say one thing, that the piece Doug did in the beginning there, I was absolutely brilliant. I learned more. Heiner, I've known you for more than 20 years. And by hearing Doug's presentation of you, I realized that I didn't really know you. Uh, well, I know you, but I, by getting that kind of background, which somehow I didn't have most of that, I, so by getting like your CV in that way, that was actually very helpful in understanding you better and knowing how to interact with it. it even though you encompass a large area, it sort of uh, framed it a little bit on what are, what are we talking about, which I found very helpful and which I somehow haven't picked up by myself by talking with you for years. So it's, it's a great service to have somebody who will who will do that for you. Doug did a fantastic job. So I, I want to validate that. That was the most wonderful part of that meeting. No, I even have to speak about this again because it was totally out of plan. He was trying to show his vision, his embodiment. And um, in the coordinating session half an hour before, we were all very busy. He asked me questions, I mean, from where, why, which station in my life, what I did in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, or whatever. And then, like a good lawyer, he was presenting that. And I was a little bit upset. I like what he said, and it was true. I only had to make one or two corrections, but it was totally out of plan. And so um, Harry knows the story. We were before just talking about his visualizations to explain me through his, his um, infographics. But that some people are blind, some cannot calculate, and others um, can only speak, but uh, not write or whatever. This transition between ways of presenting and conceptualization and, and then painting like Harry does, this is actually my struggling when we have other science sets and our rule sets and other mindsets and how difficult it is to have peace, as you see now, as Gertrude mentioned, when these people uh, in the capital in Washington meet and they have all their mental straitjackets on. I didn't want to talk so much. Yeah, we, we hijacked uh, Tammy's uh focus a little bit, but uh, I, I wanted to validate that that uh, Tammy's services sometimes are very needed and sometimes there's a function that's, that's not there that's, and then it doesn't quite roll the same way. So the, uh, it's, it's actually great, Heiner, that we spent some time reflecting on your piece because for me, it's about, uh, it's about as Harry says, failing forward. How do we just how do we try? How do we learn from each other? Uh, how do we learn from these sessions that we do? And for me, one of the greatest learnings has been in <clears throat> reflecting myself in, in watching um, sessions back and being able to see how am I being with this, you know? And so Heiner, uh, if you can just signal, have you, have you rewatched Sunday's session? Oh, you might be frozen, but um, no, no. 
first I want to know, is it failing or falling forward? I didn't get that acoustically. Failing. Failing um, or falling? Failing. Okay. Anyway, it's very close. Like challenging and failing and being disrupted. No, I have not listened to it. I'm totally desperate all this week because a duck has the recording and I wanted to look at it. I mean, I'm out of contact since a week and I'm, I'm really worried because I want to put it only online when I looked at it, but for sure it's public, no problem. But I wanted to learn from it. Uh, the last part, uh, also, Sam was recording, I have, but I wanted to bring the two videos. list of participants higher than you can make Tammy the host again. It seems that so she's the host again. Tammy oh, is host. She's host, no problem. I heard Tammy say something interesting when she was talking <laughs> to Doug in, to Doug in the values, the values um, foundation segment about, about the way we approach others and in, in communities. You see, if we have values and we live by those values, they come across. And if there's an algorithm watching and if there's an augmented intelligence observing the chat sessions, the, the people with the values that it prefers will naturally percolate higher. They become, they become light more often. By, not necessarily by people, but by, by bots, artificial intelligence robots that are combing through discussions, looking for phrases. It's almost like a, an animal that thinks it's highly developed, into, it's not a highly developed intelligence, but it's a smart machine learning creature that if we don't control it with our own values, it'll develop values of its own. Okay. So, sorry, I dropped offline there for a second. And I just, I really do want to, uh, I'm, I'm grateful to talk about to, to have the opportunity to look at for a window into your stuff, Heiner, but I really want to bring it back to what we're co-learning here, right? And that is there. So I'm going to recommend to you that you watch that before, uh, before Sunday, because that will help, that will bring up your abilities leaps and bounds to see how you expressed. And that's actually one of the key things of this space and what can happen there is that you can be your best teacher. And this is what this space is for me, is for me to be able to be my best teacher and see, literally know myself well enough to be like, okay, there, Dammers, you had it. You were with it. You were in yourself, right? And you expressed it well. And so um, that's a big part, Heiner, of what the initial hot seat was all about, was about anyone, in this case you, being able to see how they communicate and continuously improve. Does, does that make sense? Did you want to comment? Yes, we are both one in that. And, and you see, I try to convey that I need visualizations, like the one from Harry. He's really apt in that. And so I fully subscribe. I, have, I hope I, I get what I, I uh, done last uh, Sunday in the rehearsal, but I, I don't want us to talk about something we all have not seen. Maybe Harry was there. Maybe we, we created a trio, Duck, Harry, and me, uh, Harry was also very silent and probably scribbling. So what is the view of you, Harry? You have been there. Uh, thank you. Uh, I think uh, you're trying to explain uh, very simply how complex and complicated everything is. And the more you see it, the more you understand, the more complex it gets. And that we need to kind of start mastering that process. 
because we uh, the world is complex we have complex problems and we need to rise in our abilities to uh, handle that that's what my short version of that will be uh, and I would but I would today like go back to Tammy because this is Tammy's space and Tammy is being so friendly and let it derail to somebody else uh, that's my feedback to you Tammy and uh, I would like to focus on what you're true at my mind were trying to say that uh, the only thing we bring here is our time the value of what we bring is our time and attention because that's basically all we have all I have is my time and my attention for whatever I, and I bring my time and attention here and today my ten as the topic is my time and attention is for what you want to bring and what you want to accomplish and looking at that, uh, I very much like the way you worded that you, we are all here together and every single person in this room and every single person on the planet is one other piece of this awesome puzzle we are all together. And you want to, and I see it, you see this part of your work to shed light on every interesting person and uh, ask them, what the part what the part of the puzzle they embody and what they are working on and what they bring because if you make it visible the system as a whole comes more visible and the pieces can connect and form the whole we are looking for. That's kind of my summary at this moment. So is that I'm complete. Thank you. I have the question Tammy um, you said my purpose. If you could put it into one, two sentences, what would that be? And I know it's evolving, it's not like pinned, <laughs> but moment. Uh, my purpose is to evolve myself enough to be awake and present in relationship with other people who are also awakening and present to an emergent reality that I can help to progress. That's my purpose. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for asking. And hopefully we are those people <laughs> yes <laughs> definitely definitely so i wanted to i wanted to also really f touch on this learning from each other so you know heiner you have been an incredible puzzle to me to figure out how to understand the complexity of which you uh from from which you come and you know it's a complexity that is multi-dimensional and multimodal because you have there's the things the spaces you're working within as well as all of the different eras in your life and the relationships so even in just you the the um, capacity to grok that complexity is uh is part of what i need to learn and I want to learn with other people. How do we sort for how we can understand each other? That's really important. And how do we more quickly, as Fleming says, how do we more quickly get to the point? And for that, what I'm feeling inside myself is that I have to be centered in my purpose and very present with what what's happening and that's not just up to me in this case it's a bit more up to me because i've convened the session and you guys are all gracefully showing up to hold space but it's a it's it is this <laughs> we're at it there's the at sign and and it's it's there's some really um, subtle learnings in that space about listening, giving, understanding, and 
and then what happens in the collective intelligence space are we all present here are we with each other how do we dock these are the questions that i have that i am so grateful to have such committed and earnest um, people to be with that have their own work and and yeah that's the thing that i struggle with is being centered in me and my work knowing that i need others but i don't want to oh, i don't want to down press and say you guys need to do it my way you know but rather how do i invite invite to participate and you know um, allow it to be a co-evolution and yeah Gertrud. no i didn't want to interrupt you oh just yeah <laughs> yeah well isn't isn't it also to sort of well be aware of and, and maybe I'm a little more direct of who has what skills like like Tammy you are very good at putting something very precisely when Gertrude asks you a hard, hard question on, on voicing your what you're trying to do you had the, you had it ready I would have struggled with explaining what I'm trying to do so some of us are very good at certain things but maybe not at others like Heiner's amazingly good at tracking all sorts of complexities and models, but he's rather horrible at explaining what he's, what he's doing. Like if you ask <laughs> Heiner to present himself, we're going to end up all over the map. <laughs> but he's very good at tracking most of the things we come up with. So, so I noticed, I mean, ask Duck to present what Heiner is about. Suddenly I get it much more than before so obviously duck should present all of us i don't know <laughs> <laughs> or, or just to be aware of that there there's a skill the skill of presenting something quickly and, and cleanly we don't all have it i mean we have other wonderful skills but uh we don't all have the same ones so we, we shouldn't waste too much time on struggling to do something we do horribly if somebody else can just sort of whip it out really easily <laughs> So I didn't want to interrupt Tammy, but I wanted to talk. Um, I, I was just thinking, uh, Heine is a, a very good example. Why don't we, Doug is one person and the other one would be Colin, I think. So with the mind map, uh, so Colin talking to Heine and trying to get <laughs> what this complexity could be and and then Doug um, explaining it <laughs> uh, or whatever um, but this was the first thing that came to my mind how could we get what people are what they bring to the table yeah, that's that's one part. And the other one is to get more of me. <laughs> um, I think Colin and Alex and Fleming, I haven't invited you yet to, I don't know if Heine, uh, to, um, I've translated the one part. And what I wanted to ask you was to, to see if it works for you in, in English. And uh, so that would be a possibility to get more <laughs> what I'm doing. So oh, I, if anybody interested, you just put your email address with which you are in Google so I can add you to the, to the party. At the moment, only Anna is in it. <clears throat> There's quite a few. Yeah. There's quite a lot of English words from this part of the world that are not in the in the British or US dictionary. <laughs> it's just Australian, Kiwi, and uh, down under language. And so, awesome. And yes, Fleming. Um, when we know more about each other, 
then thank you for just directly demonstrating that. Gertrude's got this book that would really, it's, and it's amazing, you'll be able to learn from it and help. So part of the we of the GCC space, I think that we need to think into is how, how do we actually make our skills and what we want to do visible so that, so that we can self-organize, so that people can see how they can be helped and how they can contribute. So I appreciate being able to have that as a live action moment. You see, with UNESCO, we spoke about skills, capacities, and competences. They are always understood differently, but what Gertrude showed is a very nice example. A lawyer can very nicely, succinct, terse, short, put something out, and for sure it's not the whole reality, but it's easily and it can be understood. The other makes a mind map. The other makes scribbles like Harry. I'm trying to make models. I think it is a beautiful dance. So, Colin. Oh, you've muted yourself. I'm not hearing you. Okay. So... So for I, what I'd love to, to do is I want to shift some of how my energy is in the collective space. And so I'd like your help to, to be able to take a moment to articulate what I'd actually like to be doing. And uh, yesterday and Thursday, I opened the floor to someone else taking on the, the technical part of hosting that conversation because I've been doing that and uh, I'd like a other people to know the process of of uh, uh, um, sorry there's Colin or so so I want I want the the group to be building the capacity of some of the things that I've been doing so that I can actually do what I want to do and so I put that out yesterday and that's fantastic. Um, and so for me, I would love to, to have specific, some specifically convened conversations that are, uh, I, think, I think a great place to start is, uh, is to put together some, an agenda for some of the log jams of the GCC and so that the people that want to contribute to moving through that can. Um, and, but more passionately for me, it's about um, what, are the, what are the systems that create a, a, the ways, the lived ways, living ways of being sovereign. And so sovereignty for me is about being able to fully be who I am without uh, apology. And that, I, uh, and, and that I have the privilege of being able to show up in any way that I want to. And that I have a responsibility to listen to that voice, that, that quiet voice inside that points me in the direction of how I can best serve. And, uh, and so what that looks like for me is to, is to be able to shine, uh, to spend time and direct my attention and do sessions with people who are inspiring, who inspire me and who are doing like this next edge work. When I look out into our interlocking communities and see how many people are, are really at that next level already, uh, I'm, I'm blown away. And, it's, and, and I don't wanna focus my attention on the problems, I wanna focus my attention on the people that are, that are auguring in and creating uh, ways for us to be able to to share our knowledge, to be part of communities of practice that are that are 
that are doing things in a new way. Because at the end of the day, me learning from Heiner, uh, how he navigates his challenge in communication helps me to, knowledge, to, to, to uh, navigate my challenges in communication. I can, we can learn from each other. And I feel like these interlocking groups that we're all a part of, we're all at that edge of learning. And one of the things I think that can really help to create that super fluidity of learning that Fleming, that I, you know, I think of when I think of Fleming, is that we share what we're learning and share our best practices. And, sh and some of it is very subtle, which is why it needs to be demonstrated. Not, it's not words that you can say, well, do this and then this and then this. It's, it's a way of being that is very subtly uh, um, developed and requires a fair amount of, of self-awareness and knowledge and humility <laughs> and strength. Uh, and clarity and and i think it's i think it's 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 sharing those these you know for example today here i am saying okay i'm just going to be me and i'm going to say what i'm learning and the direction i'm going in and that's been incredibly difficult for me to take that space and how interesting is that you know i'm creating space so that i can have space held for me but i have you know, it, it's, it's my own work inside to, to take it, to take that space and be uh, fully myself in it. And it's good work. And I'm deeply grateful for all of you to hold this space. Yep. Harry. Could we take two minutes? Thanks. Okay, we're at two minutes. Thank you. Thanks, Harry. So in this moment, I'm actually at a loss. And this is perfect because this is the part. I'm holding space and taking space at the same time. So I would invite someone to help guide in this moment. I don't know if I'm a guide. Uh, Fleming, go ahead. You're a guide. You're maybe a guide too, but what what comes 
to me is really, well, it's the vision of being in that space all the time. And, and if we're not, then why the hell not? Why, why aren't we all most of the time being true to what we feel needs to happen, what we feel we need to do, and what we feel we need to say? I have personally, actually, I just had a revelation on it yesterday, but I have personally as a, as a target and a, as an intention to spend the maximum of my time in that and to try to deal with and process all the things that take me away from just being in the flow of what I feel is, is right. And part of what it is for me, and maybe for most of us, is a variety of obligations or holding space for others or doing the things that need to be done that maybe don't feel that great, but somehow there's a backlog of things to do. And I would like to sort of question some of those things or process them or reframe them or whatever it is, because I don't really within me see a reason why we shouldn't spend most of the time with what we are about. Like, of course, Tammy should spend most of the time being Tammy, doing what she feels coming through her and not spend most of her time cataloging videos or doing other things of except for if that's how it flows for her. So sometimes we start off with something that feels right and then we get stuck in it. That happens a lot to me that I feel I started this and now I don't know, now I'm stuck with dealing with it. Uh, but I'd, I'd, I'd like to sort of just keep that as, as a vision that the ideal flow for all of us together might very well be that we are connected with our own flow, that we're honest about what we actually feel like doing and saying, and we don't try to just bend over backwards to, to do all of the things we, we should do. So that there's sort of an authenticity where the, what, what's within me that happens to work with what works for the group. I, truly believe that but it's it's hard to demonstrate because something usually goes a little little off when we do it but i i believe that's the way the direction we're headed in i wouldn't like to see the burden of, of doing all the work for the so spreading that uh, effort across the group is a good idea provided the people are willing they're willing to take part the group's principles are where they, so that's, that's where they come in. The, the principles of the endeavour are sharing our collective knowledge and commons and wisdom, intelligence, together as a, as a group and see where it goes. But I, I, I get disappointed when I realise that a lot of people don't seem to understand networking all that well and the value of having your own web page the value of having several of your own web pages. These are just network locations. But because the algorithms can find them on the internet, it can link them together and form, it can work out who's a member of what and what are they doing and where should they be connected. And it does that automatically. All we have to do is bring ourselves and be present, like, uh, like Sam was suggesting in the community of impact, we realised that some of the tools the old paradigm used were quite effective, like impact marketing. Uh, you know, there's billions of people out there looking at the internet and saying, what's in it for me? They want instant gratification. They're not willing to sit down for 15 minutes and discuss something, especially a topic they think is a waste of time, like global climate change or something. So activism's where we look for people who are willing to spend some time in a group and discover not only themselves but the other members they can part with. So, and that is the challenge that I'm looking to solve for myself, is how can I bring what I have? And everybody else has that same problem. Um, Gertrude. Yeah, I, I, I was not sure and that's why I'm asking. Uh, what you were asking us for and what I understood and maybe I'm wrong that somebody would take over to hold the space 
that you don't have to do this both at the same time. In that moment, I had the realization that that was exactly when I'm hosting and I'm the subject. And so I don't, I'm, I don't have the ability to direct myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and I don't necessarily want to talk about what is the GCC and all of that and what is the purpose of our collective. Not so much. It's more for me reflecting on what I'm bringing now and so that I can hear what has been heard, what has been heard by others in terms of yeah. where, where I'm shifting and how, uh, yeah. So if you want to, I could take over. Thank you. <sighs> How does that feel? <laughs> Colin, you said something? I'm just saying, how does that feel? And I'm waiting for you to uh, own that, as Tammy would say, because you just did. That was wonderful. And uh, as well, um, and, uh, yesterday, Joshua suggested that he would like to do like uh, little science episodes. And then the idea turned on to um, maybe having special guests and, <clears throat> and different things. I think it's, it's good to try new things and have people involved. Yeah, definitely. I do have some words, though. I've been taking notes. Um, and Tammy did ask at the beginning to, for us to feedback on, you know, um, uh, lessons learned and collaboration and things like that. And um, uh, I, have a, um, I have my own weaknesses, of course, in, uh, in communication. That's part of the reason why I'm at the group. And it's, you know, if, if I was religious, I would say, well, God sent me here. There's no question. Um, but I'm not. But I do still believe in um, a, a greater energy, but I'm not going to call it a supernatural thing. I'm just going to call it something we don't understand. And I'm, I'm willing to go there with people. Um, presence of mind, meditation, prayer. I don't, I don't want to go there, but um, I think it would be fascinating for me to be able to talk to some people about things that, that I've absorbed, like Jordan Peterson and different things like that, and get other people's uh, point of view on that. And I've, I've had a couple of people to share that experience with recently, and it was, it was wonderful um, to find people of your own skill, competence group to share with is, a, is, is an amazing thing. I don't, I don't get it a lot. Um, um, and, you know, you don't, you don't want to wear out your friends and family with your, with your crazy ideas. You want to find people who are interested in them, right? So uh, the, to, did you want to comment on that, something? I'm just uh, Colleen, I would I would like to come back to Tammy uh, to yep. let her restate her question, what she has for us, and then we can go in circle to so to share everybody sh answer that question. And and this will be the closing round um, in respect oh. for, people, for for people's time. Uh, so I'd love to hear what you have understood as my mission and what I'm here to do. It would be really useful to me to hear how you have heard uh, my reflections and the new direct and the directions that I'm moving in. Is that clear for people? And, and that's where I was getting to. Um, so um, I see that um, Gertrude suggested that maybe um, I could take a position of mapping things out or guiding the conversation. Um, I, not exactly what she said, but I took a little bit of adversity to it because I'm thinking what you were asking that I could do was exactly what you're going to do. And I see this commonality with with Fleming and with with people trying to speak their message and you know learn to network better um, and and be able to answer that question in the elevator, the elevator pitch. Have it down, and when it changes, know it and have that down. And it's changed for me um, what I came to do, um, and it relates to what you're trying to do. Um, and I'm doing it the messy way of like a reporter just trying to take notes. 
and then trying to link things together in a chronological or context pattern because it's so huge. Like, um, it's not like I'm just um, investigating one topic. I'm investigating brilliant minds trying to save the world. This is, this is no, no time for a, a single chapter. Um, but at the same time, you are working on those individual special chapters. And, and that was my realization. And it was from Mr. Jeswinder when he suggested to that he went to a seminar and he picked up the pamphlet and that's what the guy was selling. And he put down his money, went to the first guy, got what he expected, the next guy, the next guy, and he grew. But we, we all have to be able to have our seminar ready to go. Um, so I was suggesting that, you know, Alex, um, he said, oh, this is really hard to make a profile with, with my maps. Like, so I, I make a player and I say, okay, we're going to make your character. We're going to build your character. Who are you? If you already know who you are, then you could, you could save me the game and just send me the notes and I'll try to make it pretty and send it back to you if you like that. If not, then, um, you know, you, you already know what you're doing. Mind maps are for figuring things out in my mind. Um, so, yeah, uh, with that, when we tried to present, you took it, uh, Tammy took it towards the idea of um, how to, you know, how to, a list of things that the GCC is. And that was the, that was the thing at the moment everybody was into. What's the GCC? And Doug was going to go write a book about the ungroup, or uh, sorry, uh, um, a document about what the GCC ungroup is. And uh, it was very interesting. And then with Sam, he said, well, we're not a group. So I went and changed my mind map from GCC something or other to Collins GCC. And like Tammy said, it was there and back again. Now I've changed it to the GCC collaboration engine or something generator. So the GCC is an entity and, we, and it is important to figure out what it is, but we're all responsible for owning our parts and things can change. And I do think it's a, a, a key to be able to map out what people's skills and competencies and interests are. And the only real other thing besides making it so that it can translate to the third world um, and able to talk with different personalities, that's where I get fascinated with sociology and psychology and this character building. Because if you know that I'm brilliant at certain things and really suck at other things, you, you, won't, you won't be so offended when you see me fall down. You might help me up as opposed to think, you know, this guy's off in left field. Um, and, and it's my responsibility to own the mistakes that I make. So it's a, it's a two-way street. But when doing what I tried to do, it was very difficult. It was trying to like, um, I, I get that when I'm trying to type on the computer and speak at the same time. You, you can't do it. You can't, you can't be the stenographer and the presenter. You can't steer the boat and paddle the boat. So I find that, you know, I see myself as a background role. If I'm, not the, if I'm not the one who's going through the mind map slowly, where it's already templated, like put your thing here, put your thing here. And, you know, I thought that was going to happen. I thought I was going to get help in trying to figure out what are the ideal things to put in a profile. So if Tammy knew the questions that she wanted to ask, I could put them in a mind map and be expecting them. And unexpected things could be highlighted. You know, some people don't want their profile in there. They don't want me to know what their personality is. Well, that's fine. Um, maybe, you know, so it's, it's variable. So I, I think we're all kind of doing the same kind of thing um, with different media formats. And to appreciate our strengths and weaknesses um, and support each other is a great idea. I love the idea of Tammy going and interviewing people. And I love the idea of having some kind of a, information packet to follow it i'm not saying my knowledge trails are the ideal thing i've got all kinds of ideas for those but i'm, I'm honored if anybody wanted to to look at that aspect but i i think i think the main message is we're all trying to find best ways to network by knowing what it is and and aligning to our message and and we should be able to feel like ourselves and 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 i do feel very stretched and confused and 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 i don't know if i'm unappreciated or people are just busy but i think that's part of the mature learning and listening is to uh, uh to be present and and roll with it and um maybe you have to state who you are three or four times like gertrude uh and her book you know she's definitely in in my plans now i put her notes in there i'm trying to play doug today and put notes in the chat because i think that's very important you know that's good feed for this the work for mind mapping and stuff anyway i think that's <laughs> Plenty. So okay, Tammy. Um, though we are 
so to say in a closing round, I think since you posted the question, you can jump in and say what, what um, yeah, about so, the question and what, what do you think? So part, part, of my, part of the experiment here for me is how well have I communicated what I'm up to? And what I'd like to hear back from people is how well they have understood what I've reflected on and what I'm doing, the direction I'm going in. I would like to answer that. Um, I, be, I believe you have communicated what you're up to, but not clearly enough. I mean, I, I get that you're taking a step to make it more what Tammy is here for and to be a more active, participant, facilitator of making things happen, not just reporting on it, but being part of facilitating it, which uh, I agree is a, is a good choice. It's sort of a waste of Tammy for you to not, to just be a witness of, of what happens. So, so I got a sense of that. I, did there, I have a sense maybe that there are more specifics that would be there to know. Uh, and I do notice that people get a little off track and it gets mixed up. Well, what's the GCC about? We're a little confused. So let's discuss that for a while. That's not what you said. I mean, you're talking about uh, you, Tammy, wanting to do specifically what you are trying to do, which I fully support. You didn't say I'm going to do, uh, you didn't say anything about the GCC, which is, is fine. Uh, so I think that could maybe be more clear since people get a little confused about, well, what does that have to do with the GCC or what's, well, that's not what you said. So obviously you can say it stronger so, so that it really sinks in. And Tammy, you can jump in whenever yeah you feel like thank you the others just <laughs> make a, a round okay so I'll, I'll pick up the challenge um uh the this part has been really difficult for me to articulate because it's there's my purpose my purpose is to be you know a part of the awakening on the planet but it's very specific um, it's specifically to do with how we, how the economy works, how I am in the economy, and and what that is, you know, what I've been able to kind of to experience in 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 my life personally, but also with spending uh, nine years in on the board of the credit union and all of these different experiences that I've had have really pointed me in the direction of how we how we value and exchange how we create value how we exchange value and how that relates to knowledge and and this awakening on the planet that's the that's the the nut that i want to explore um and i want other people like me who are curious and want to have conversations. And I, I, I certainly don't want to do this on my own. I actually want to have other people say, oh my God, that's amazing, how fun. I can explore all these amazing people and really be myself while I'm doing that to help to, 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 to create that. What needs to happen to make it happen? Um, because underneath that is this is this knowing that I am not a bystander. I'm not reporting on something. I'm a part of a, uh, for me, it feels like a remembrance. And there's a, there's a resonant field aspect to it. And so, what I, what I, what I see is the opportunity is to show up with others and really focus our time and attention on looking right at it as close as we can. What is it? What is the it between us? And for each constellation of, pe of people, that's going to be different. And so 
I, I'm on, I, I'm like, it's, I feel like I'm on a treasure hunt and all around me, I see these gorgeous, uh, opulent humans with their treasures that I can see. And I want to be able to, uh, to in my seeing, noticing and using in, in of that, that that gives it value. So there's, there's these really deep kind of integrations of what value and values are and who we are each individually and together that for me is an explosion of potential that if we can navigate and be aware of each other and, and, uh, and capture that process that we can level up together. Um, so there's another cake at the can. <laughs> Who wants to go next? So, so is, is, is anything really stopping you from doing that? I mean, I, I do still get a sense of it sort of in part obligations to sort of the schedule of the GCC or something. I would kind of want you to go full blast on exactly what you're saying here. Uh, no, uh, with the no excuses, just uh, just do it. Um, is there anything in the way? I think just myself. I need others to play with um, and to be ready. So it's it's this day, this session is a, a part of, you know, as Colin says, we got to get ready. This is for me about getting ready. Like I'm fully sweating. My whole body is like, you know, it, it's, I'm, this is like in the hot seat as Heiner talked about. And, uh, and knowing that it really is my clarity that is able to be read or not. And nothing is stopping me other than my, my own, uh, my own barriers. Tell me, what, what is this barrier that makes you sweat? I think it is that it's, it's being big. I think it's, it's being powerful and knowing that, that I am powerful and uh, standing in that power in a way that, that feels, it, it, well, it's not comfortable. Okay. Can I invite you to fake it for a couple of minutes? So, and then sure. from that point, say <laughs> what you really want so that I can understand it. <laughs> On the record. <laughs> So I want to be awake, aware with my, I know that we have all that it takes to completely transform ourselves and society. I'm one little part of that. And I want to be with a group of others that are doing that together. And because I know that I can't do it alone. This is not, nothing about what I do is about doing it alone. It's all about doing things together. And uh, and so I want trusted companions and I have them. And I want I also want clarity of co-intention, which is very difficult to get to. So, because I think that that's, I do believe that that's important and maybe that's a belief I have to shake, but I think that that's what feels right to me is that it's not just that I use my power to convene a conversation and direct how it goes. It's that it's, it's, to break down that process into parts such that each person can 
can participate in the forming and framing of it. I want to be a part of that process. Well, thank you. If I may respond, I'm trying to get you as, and sometimes you're just as difficult to get on those pills as Heiner is for me. Uh, <laughs> And I, you know, I'm trying, and you know, I like you, so that's not the point. Uh, <laughs> you like her a lot, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> okay, that's we're getting off topic here because what I just heard, you're jumping from the I to the we all the time, and I was thinking, okay, that, but that sometimes when you go from the I to the we, it all in the same very same moment it becomes difficult because I am not we, I am just another I. So the, the try, and then you said, okay, let's break it apart. Maybe the breaking apart is not starting with I and we, but I and you and me. And then like uh, Alex said, then another one and make a try it, but one by one. We, because Demi, uh, you and me, we've been building a connection and that helps us work together. And the other way around, because we work together, we get a connection. Yeah. So I, at, the, at this moment, I got a point, let's forget about the we, because that's difficult. Like the, the, the moment that Sam said, we are not a group yet, we're just individuals. And we have all this, our own huge story and all our own missions. And, we, and for me personally, it's hard to be true to myself first mm -hmm. and be present with all that I am. And I'm not even ready to collaborate, so to speak. And then I'm trying to test to, co to collaborate with one person at a time. So maybe that's the the step we're missing. We're jumping from I to we is so difficult for me, and that's my reflection at this moment. Okay. I mean, maybe maybe we need to keep Tammy in the hot seat, and for that matter, keep all of us, each of us individually in the hot seat and not yeah. let us off. Yeah. <laughs> And I mean, not compromise. I mean, often what we do when we get in a group, we're like, oh, there are eight people, so I'll have an eight of the time. But no, I mean, we should be active all the time, mostly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think there's a point there of staying yeah. in the hot seat and dealing with the, the, the friction of what, what, why is that uncomfortable? I'm not saying it clearly enough, or what about yeah. the other people? We, yeah. we need to deal with that and see where that takes us. That, that's mm -hmm. fertile ground. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, took me the time. I think Alex and Jaswinda, I would love to hear them too. I, I spent quite a few years trying to come to terms with what I wanted to achieve with my life and where I was my direction. And I couldn't do it because of my alcoholism. I couldn't do because it because what? I had no self discipline. Alcoholism. I was addicted to chemicals and drugs and parties. And what I had to do was come to terms with the fact that I needed to change. Otherwise, the outcomes were going to be bad. And we all know that the outcomes is what it's all about. So there was the situation I had to face, and I couldn't do it with religion. Like Colin, I had issues there. I was prompted by my father who I now realise who had his own life to live and let me go free to live my own life with a few words of advice about education, about literature. So I always valued what I found in books and researching and learning all my life. I've studied stuff, language and culture, social studies. It, it dawned on me that fundamentalism it was, the, was the greatest misconception for evil in the world. And evil wasn't really an entity, a living thing. It was a manifestation of our own imaginations. Evil is merely the absence of love. And if we get our shit together and we focus on unselfishness, great things will happen. When I'm focused on myself, it's me, me, me. And now what I do then is remember that the things I value most in life are not worth money. The things that are most valuable in life are, are friendships, not items, not objects or things. You know, it's only, it's only shit. I've got a, a table here and I've got my mobile phone on it and things in a rubbish bin next to the table. And quite often things fall in the rubbish bin. I don't notice them go missing until they're missing. And I think, oh, shit, it's gone out in the rubbish. So it's only stuff. It doesn't matter. It's only stuff. One day I'll move the bin. <laughs> 
biggest things keep falling off the off the printer here next to next to me chair but it's convenient to have the bin there you know when you clean your glasses and that and i just got to be more careful but the things that do i realized the other day that things are falling in the bin and i'm losing them they're disappearing from my life but it doesn't matter because they're only things it's only stuff gadgets and what else it's not they're not important things they're not real well they are real but <laughs> They're not the real important things. Over. Alex, do you have the question, uh, um, Tammy's question in your mind? What you got from Tammy, what she was expressing? That's what I, I gave my answer. Okay. Asking us to give her some direction. Uh, maybe she already knows where she's going. She doesn't need direction or guidance. She's got a heart, a huge heart. She's got an intelligent brain to figure out where, what the principles are that she should hold up to, the values. And those are the things that give her the motivation to do what she's doing and to find a meaning in the direction where she's going and heading. It's not up to us to give her advice, to tell her where she should be doing stuff. I've got to do stuff for me. So it's a, it's a we should do what I'm doing? No, it's I should do what I'm doing. I've got my own rules, values and principles in my life that, that motivate me to do things unselfishly. I just find that's more comfortable. I go to bed and sleep, sleep better. You know, it's a healthier way to live, organic, organic wholehearted unselfishness. So there we are. And uh, people seem to like, people come around better when you're unselfish. If you come across honestly, you'll, you'll grow a wider circle of friends who have greater influence. Jaswinda, can you speak? Or? I can speak. I'll tell them the volume of the floor. So it's clear. Okay. Um, I think basically I can only reiterate what I've said a long time ago in one of our previous get togethers. Uh, the only proviso I have, the only addition I have now, is that you know, Tammy's made very clear today to me that she, she is, like a lot of other people, has this fear of success being big. Uh, it's a mighty powerful thing. I can't help with that. I can stand with you. I can, cajole you and do all sorts of things but I can't jump for you so I'm really from a personal point of view I really don't want to be doing any of the technical stuff but all the other things I can turn up for meetings I can back you up I can I'm quite au fait with all the powers that you have and I think that from sitting here what I see of you the way you shine you are not aware of all the power that you have on top of that you're bringing feminine intuition now intuition is a is a nodule it's a program that only the females have, and it's highly developed in you. And I haven't said as much and as succinctly before, but I think you should give it a try, Tammy. If you fall flat, that's great. I can do it again. Welcome. Thank you. Um. Thank you everyone for taking this time and for giving your reflections and for holding the space. And Gertrude, thank you for taking that role. 
um, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to be able to show up and stand in my power and see where I am and I'm not because I see that's both still happening. But I'm getting, it's getting easier. I'm getting stronger. And I, I, I so deeply appreciate being able to walk with each one of you and those who aren't here. And so I just, yeah, huge gratitude. I would like to say a few words. <laughs> um, I was thinking when we did that, the numerology thing. Yeah. Um, and and Jasvinda just related to that, this, this genuine connection to people, this double six, <laughs> this really wanting to be of service, and, and it's interesting what Alex said. Um, I think you don't have to be afraid of being too selfish. So whenever you think it's overdone, you just have to put on a little bit more. Because this is not your problem to become too selfish or too overdone or too out in the world because your genuine way of being is of being, being of service, being connected with people. So just <laughs> full, fully blown, go ahead and do what you, because the other one will always stay with you. This is no, you, you, you will not lose it. Because one part of you is also convening and holding space. But if you are the one, you shouldn't do it double. And I think that's for everybody. We, we shouldn't be, when we are in the hot seat or when we share, then we just say, can it, somebody else help, uh, hold the space for me in any situation? So we, we don't have to stick to that role once we took it. And then we realize it's, it's not working. Then I think it's, it's completely okay to say, can please somebody take over? So I, I, I really think doing what you said with the with your videos and and really being being what you are what you are and um showing that to the world is really a contribution of a very specific kind that not many people do i i could send you some uh, videos um, they are completely different, but one of my, the, the AI appreciative inquiry colleagues in, in um, Netherlands, he has done some. Maybe I can share them in the, in the, in the group. Very wonderful videos in black and white. Yo. And... Just um, saying what came to my mind was um, I could do a um, session to introduce you to the traffic light model, or to the appreciator's traffic light model, how to use your brain effectively. And I could just, I don't know when a good time would be, one of those. <laughs> um, to yeah to just give an intro, introduction into um when when fleming said i would like to be in that space all the time i think our evolution and our physiology is not so supportive for that 
because it was always about survival. So I think there needs to be some intention to have that space. It's not just, we have the capacity, but we don't, but it's not, um, it's not our everyday life's normal way of being. So we have to train it. We have to be intentional. Awesome. So that's me. <laughs> and we have five minutes past. So goodbye, everyone. And it's really great to see you all. Yes. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Thank you, Gertrude. Sure.